Hello everyone. I'm here with these two. This is Bailey. Hi. This is Siobhan. Siobhan's from Singapore. Bailey's from Florida. Jupiter. Jupiter, Florida. Jupiter, Florida. Where the lighthouse is. I guess there's a lot of lighthouses in the lighthouse. Ah. And <laughs> we're on the Y1 Liberty ship in Papua New Guinea. It's We've been here for a week. I might sh show you a bit. Show you out. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Like, no, stop. It's I fine. Don't know, I don't know what to do. Know what to do. This, is our, this is our mascot, Benny. This is our ma two mascot. These are the two girls. Well, we're the three girls yeah. in the team. Come God on. has been very good while we're here at the Liberty. Yeah. It's been mm -hmm. more than a half week, but we've got so much chance to serve him, to serve the crew. Yeah. Yes. Showing up so so powerfully here. Yeah. And he's been a hospitality. Yes. Yeah. I've been in scrubbing the toilets. Housekeeping. Cleaning, cleaning the toilets, cleaning the lounge. Being the humble queen that she yes. is. <laughs> yeah. This one's been in the kitchen. Yes, I've been cooking the lunches. Cooking and the dinners. We've had good lunches and dinners actually. Lots of chicken and rice. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. And Bailey's been in the engine room helping to fix the zodiac. Yes. Yeah. Should we fix it? Yeah. Bailey is a girl boss because she knows engineering stuff very well. More than me, obviously. Because she spent like a year and a half. And a half on a ship in New Zealand. Oh, no, 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 no. I spent right. two weeks on a, on a ship in New Zealand and oh. a year and a half at school. Oh, okay. And marine mechanics. Marine mechanics. Yeah. She's a doctor. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to take you outside now so you can see the view. So I've just come outside to the deck. Look how beautiful. <laughs> Can you see if I'm going to It's videoing again? actually. Yeah, it's videoing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, Grandma. This so, is the other way, the other way, the other way. Yes. <laughs> so that they get the zodiac. Yeah, yeah. this is what Bailey's been fixing. Oh, she said it's not actually, but it's, <laughs> it's something in the like cargo that. Hole. Uh, it's okay. There's yesterday, me and Siobhan did a workout here with the yes. boys. Yes. And it, I'm I was so shaken now. I was here now? for five minutes and then Makes I left. a bit jelly now. Yeah. But our main priority whilst we're here is just serving the crew. Yeah. Getting to know the people, getting to know Papua New Guinean culture. Yeah. Um, it's, been, it's been interesting. It has. Very interesting. They're very different and yeah. very interesting, but we love them. And things that are normal. Western culture are not normal here. So it's been an adjustment, but it's been really beautiful. Right, Emmy? Indeed. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's just me now. Um, so some of the things we've been doing whilst here is, apart from like the, so every day we'll do work duties, so I'll be like cleaning. Um, Bailey does her engineering. Siobhan does her kitchen stuff but we've also done like a 4th of July party so we got we made burgers instead of the rice and chicken that they normally have um, very American but there's one guy on the crew who's American and we wanted to honor him and so did the PNG people we both had the same idea which was quite funny so that worked out well. We got a little boat to the um, mainland, Port Morrisbury, to, not mainland, not in Hawaii, but just to the land. Because we're currently anchored out at sea. Um, but we went to the mall to collect some food for that. It was really interesting. There, it's they have huge vegetables and lots of different food 
some Australian foods because they're near Australia um, and everyone has villains which are like these hand woven bags and they're really cool um, We also, I had the idea of doing a girls night too, which was really fun because I brought one nail polish and they have a TV in the lounge and we watched Moana. So there's us three girls on the ship, um, the outreach BTS girls, and then there's three other women, three PNG women, the rest are all men. So it was really good to just get the girls together because that hadn't happened and it was cool to talk about the differences in our cultures for women. Um, yeah, it was really interesting and Moana is an amazing film. Especially fun to watch after being in Hawaii because um, I saw stuff and I knew what it was. I was like, I saw you in Hawaii. So that was fun. Um, and we painted nails, you can't really see. They are pink. The boat's rocking quite a lot right now. I don't know, I don't know if you can see on video or not, but it's rocking. Um, so like the doors have hooks on. Um, because if they didn't, they would just open and then they like slam. There's been a few times that I've not put the hooks on, it just slams. Um, yeah, God has been so faithful faithful throughout all of this especially when we were traveling here oh my gosh we had a flight from Kona to Honolulu then to Sydney then to Brisbane then to Port Moresby and every single fl flight we only just managed to get like we arrived early and then something wrong happened and we only just managed to get it so Thank you, Jesus. A lot of crazy things happened. In Sydney, we thought we were gonna be able, we had a 10 hour layover and we thought we'd be able to stay in the airport, but we didn't realize the airport closed. So we had to find somewhere to stay. And thankfully, we managed to get in contact with some people. This group of like, why? I don't know, if, they weren't all Waiwamas. A couple of them were Waiwamas. But they were just a group of Christian young people living together in this new house they just moved into and they let us stay overnight which is so kind um, and they showed us around the house and they, they have this like garage area which we said would be a really good DTS classroom little did we know they were thinking of pioneering a wild on base there so we were like confirmation for them and we got somewhere to stay for the night, <coughs> which was so amazing how God just answered both of our prayers in one. Um, we didn't know these people, but they were very nice. Very, very good to sleep in a bed. Us three girls slept in one, in one bed, <laughs> but it was better than the airport. Um, and then we had issues with someone losing a passport. Paul lost a passport when we got to the airport. And then Zach just, we were praying and Zach put his hand in his pocket. It was like, this is not my passport. And he didn't remember putting it in his pocket. And then we almost lost the bags. Um, Cause we didn't think we had to pick them up. We were told we didn't have to pick them up in Brisbane. Um, so we didn't. And then we went and checked in. They were like, we don't have your bags. We were at like a whole different terminal. Um, so the boys got a taxi to the other terminals to try and collect the bags. It was too late. And thankfully, Omar has like an air tag thing in one of his bags so he could track where it was. And um, the two airlines couldn't yeah. get in contact with each other. Hi, Shimon. Yeah. I'm nearly done. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't want it, sorry. It's alright. The two airlines couldn't get in contact with each other. So, 
there was issues because we had to sort it all out and find the bags. Eventually a kind person <clears throat> shipped them up to the airplane and we made the flight on time. Like just in the nick of time. They didn't even open the doors, open the gates to the flight until like half an hour after. I don't know why, but it worked out for us. Um, so yeah, a lot of crazy things just on the way here. And then since being here, God has been moving and working and we've got to know the crew um, over the time so well. And yeah, it's very exciting. And then on Friday, 9 a.m., we're getting a boat off this boat and we're heading to Madang. So it's another flight to Madang where we'll be spending the rest of the time doing medical missions, which I'm super stoked for because I've got a feeling it might stir something in my heart because <coughs> I did like the medical the medical stuff, I did health and social care in college, and, um, yeah, and Siobhan's a doctor, and she's brought her scrubs, and she said she's going to try and help me do as much as I can to help out, she's going to let me do injections or whatnot, um, and teach me. that I'm here. It's so pretty, so beautiful. Um, every day I wake up and I see oh, they have amazing sunrises and sunsets and I'm like this is heaven because it's so pretty. Um, but yeah. Thank you all for being interested in what I'm doing. I'll try and do another update when I get to Madang. Another thing is we have a team Instagram if you want to follow that for updates and pictures. I need to remember what it's called. I'll link it in the email. I'll link it in the email so that you can go and follow it if you have Instagram. If not, I'll still be doing these updates, so I'll still get updates. But yeah, it's goodbye from me and Benny. Bailey made this. How cute. He's come everywhere with us so far on the flight. Bailey just had him attached to her bag. And then he even was attached to like the back of her belt when we were on a um, boat to come here and he was like half, his legs were dangling in the water. So I don't know how he's made it, but he has. And he is a true trooper getting us through this. I'm joking. He's just cute. Anyways, love you all. Goodbye.